for China, they want to see peace. But more than that, they want to build a world with other countries together, you know, that we share a common destiny in peace, in friendship. Mr. Tung, you were born in Shanghai on July 7th, 1937, the same day that Japan invaded China. Has this given you a unique insight into peace or even the absence of peace? I was born on the day the Japanese formally invaded China, which was uh, 1937, July 7th. So all my life, my family folks make sure I remember this. I, of course, constantly remember what's it all about. I've seen many wars. War cannot solve problems. It creates more problems subsequently, actually. But the ability to working together, if the two countries getting together, to work on it, or through the United Nations, we can make the world so much better. Wars can be avoided. What Chinese people have went through from the Opium War until today, what China has went through in war, in being occupied, and then eventually, it was not until 1949, you find your own way forward now, and we are moving forward very well. And we are moving forward not for any other things, to build a better life for Chinese people, but also to make the world better. If the world is better, it will be good for China also. And similarly, if US-China can work together, it will be good for China, good for the United States, it will be good for the world. And I told uh, my family, that if I have to crawl, I would do it every day of my life to make US-China better. President Carter says that since 1979, when the diplomatic relationship was established, no American soldier has died on a battlefield in East Asia. Do you therefore think that the US-China relationship can be that key to global peace? I think US-China relationship is a key to global peace. Not only we can avoid wars, we can make peace, we can make the world a better place to live. My last question will be about the global future, a stronger, safer, more peaceful global future. You've worked in this relationship for the largest part of your life. What would you tell about the young people today about doing the same as you do? To all the young people, better future is waiting for you but it's not going to come to you. You have to get there. How do you get there? How do you equip yourself? How can you become somebody who is more idealistic, try to achieve uh, good things in life for yourself and for everybody else? The future is better than today. And that is what they have to understand. But a better future doesn't come automatically. We all have to work for it. And we can work for it. Mr. Tong Chi Hua, thank you very much for your time and for sharing all of your insights. No, thank you very much. Thank you.